Um, I can have a talk about notebook, notebook bar structure. Um, the idea is, um, my name is Andreas Kainz, I'm not from Collabora, um, only community member, and um, did in the last... Only, only, uh, only, you're a pressure. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean that. <clears throat> Quite, please. Um, the good thing is I can do whatever I want and uh, break everything and you have to fix it, hopefully. Um, in the past year, I do some stuff about user interface uh, and start with the notebook bar, the notebook bar structure, uh, ordinary, everything is located at a notebook bar, at uh, the low V flat uh, <coughs> folder, <coughs> the uh, control notebook bar, writer, calc, impress, draw, JavaScript files, and two other JavaScript files, I don't know what they are. Or they are really important, I think. <clears throat> First, you have to switch uh, to notebook bar. You can switch uh, in the config file. There is somewhere this uh, user interface string, and then you can switch to notebook bar, and then you will see it. In general, the notebook files are structured quite good. Uh, we have there for example, notebook bar, uh, write a JavaScript file. We have the, uh, the different tabs. Here, the file tab, home tab, and so on, all the, all the different tabs uh, with context. So home tab will be shown by default when you are in text mode or in the draw text context file. Um, and then we switch, for example, to the home tab. There we have the JSON file with a type. Big to it item means it's a big item, big icon, uh, and only one icon in the so one icon, and that's it. Uh, unbutton the the label. Uh, then we can have con a container. A container contain a couple of toolbox, and a toolbox can contain can contain a tool item. Um, for example, here we have a cut and format paintbrush, and in the next uh, toolbox, you will see then a copy and clear. Um, so you can make all the notebooks with these two elements, with the big tool item, you make one icon and with containers you can group them and make them shiny. That's it. Uh, the first thing was uh, that we cleaned up all the um, notebook bars to have only these two items. Why? Because it's way easier to design them with JavaScript the layouting when you only have some types. Um, in general, I have an open bug for a long time now. Uh, it's, no, it's not an easy, easy hack. Um, the idea is to make the notebook bar more uh, simple. So that, that it's uh, way easier to edit the document. In general, it's not, not that difficult to edit. It's, easier than uh, for LibreOffice, for example, uh, but it could be way easier. And at least um, we have really nice JSON files, for example, for the toolbar, for the classic toolbar, and we can also go further in that direction uh, because we only have um, some groups and that's it, only some, yeah. So the idea is you have a big tool item, you have the container, the, the boxes, and when you can simplify the, the JSON file, um, 
you can then with JavaScript change how to arrange all these groups. So for example, you can switch, you could switch from a notebook bar to a more compact mode and, uh, and back. Or you can have then um, with JavaScript uh, and in CSS the options for a specific mobile or specific uh, tablet mode and so on. That was the idea. So first of all, I would prefer to have some simplification and then play around with JavaScript, which is always funny. So you can switch from notebook bar to a more compact mode. Um, and in the end, you have, would have two JavaScript uh, two uh, CSS files, one for the classic mode and one for compact mode, and only one JavaScript file and so on. So it would be a good option. Um, the issue, very important, 1257. And um, you can easy hack on the notebook pause. It's really simple to, to add some content. Uh, you only have to copy paste whatever is already here, and that's it. Um, don't make it more complicated than it's necessary. So, one thing I uh, was work in the last couple of weeks is um, on mobile. Uh, why? Because nobody cares about mobile in the past, so I start with it. No, there are a lot of people who cares about it, but I uh, don't see someone who will work on the user interface stuff, and so switch to this side, um, to the mobile UI. Um, the idea is we have now in the mobile, also in the desktop, we have a toolbar, and the toolbar is not, it's, it's, it's static. And to um, Chimon add me an option, uh, that we can also have context-related commands at the toolbar, which works over it uh, over well. I have one open box, but that, that's it. Uh, and so, for example, we have here a text mode in the center with all the commands. When you go to the tablet, uh, to the ta to a context table, you have the same text elements, but on the right, you have some table-specific commands. So in general, when you switch, the UI wouldn't switch because you always have on the left all the text settings and only on the right the table settings. Um, for when you are in the graph, in the, when you select a graphic or a drawing, something else, then you will see there all the commands that are related to graphics. Um, because you don't can you can't make them bold whatever, and then you can have a cleaner user interface and it's really cool. It's not too complicated to edit and document on mobile. It works, it works better than expected because you only have the commands that are available, and on top you can click to have all the. Uh, sidebar commands, so you can have all the additional commands which are ordinary not available as uh, toolbar items. And this is how the mobile button bar looks like. You have to type a button, a menu, whatever, uh, the only command and the context. <coughs> and now you can only select one context, but uh, the open bug is to have also the option to make to have more context elements because as you see in the first slide and in one of the first slides the, uh, the home elements are for default text and draw text so it would be easier to have more options because you can use the text elements also for table and so on yes so I work on mobile stuff, uh, in the past on notebook stuff and on the sidebar, 
sidebar stuff for the layouting. If someone wants to join, welcome. If someone uh, needs help, please let me know. Uh, ordinary the stuff uh, we work on issue trackers on GitHub. So thanks for listening. Thanks, Andreas. That's really cool. And uh, it's also visible. It's also visible that you are also active in GitHub, and I see that already that you uh, are guiding other people. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always good when, and you have an, an easy, easy hack. Uh, someone else will fix it for you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> yes, exactly.